Hello everyone, welcome to my channel all about mechanical engineering. In today's video, we will discuss projection of lines. Before going ahead, make sure you have subscribed my channel so you won't miss any of the upcoming videos. In the previous video, we have discussed the possible cases while projecting lines. There are four possible cases. Case number one, given line is parallel to both reference planes. Case number two, given line is parallel to one reference plane, perpendicular to another. Case number three, given line is parallel to one reference plane and inclined to another. Case number four, given line is inclined to both reference planes. Out of these four cases, case number one has been already discussed in the previous video and the link for this video has been provided in the description. Today, we'll discuss case number two. Case 2 has two more subcases. A. When the given line is parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. And the vice versa of this can be subcase 2. Given line is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. In order to have a better understanding, let's have an example. A line AB is 55 mm long is placed such that its end point A is 10 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP and it is near to HP. Also, the line is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. Draw the projections of the line when it is in first quadrant. Let's extract the given data first. So line AB is given to us with 55 mm as true length. Position of endpoint A is mentioned 10 mm above HP, 20 mm in front of VP. Also, it is mentioned A is near to HP line is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP line is given in first quadrant positions of front view and top view of point A is mentioned here so the front view of A will be 10 mm above XY and top view of A will be 20 mm below XY here we have the first quadrant and accordingly front view will be above XY top view will be below XY Let's understand the question with the help of this 3D model. So we have this horizontal and vertical plane like this. We are looking from this side. The given distances is 20 mm from vertical plane in front and 10 mm above horizontal plane. So this is a point. Now, what is the name of this point? So it is mentioned out of line AB, the endpoints A and B, A is near. So this will be A. Now, line can be placed vertically perpendicular to HP like this or like this. Out of these two positions, only one is correct. Why? Because in the question it is mentioned line is in first quadrant. If you observe carefully, when I take the line from A downwards, a portion of the line is going below HP and it is crossing horizontal plane and it is entering another quadrant but in the question it is mentioned first quadrant so the complete line should be lying in the first quadrant itself hence downwards cannot be our line only one position that is this one is correct when you are looking from the front the front views of point A and B will be projected on vertical plane like this as A dash and B dash and the line joining A dash and B dash will be the front view. When you are looking from the top, A and B both will be coinciding at the same point on horizontal plane. In this way, A and B that is top view of point A and point B will be obtained on the single point at the same location. And the front view and top view will be lying on a single projector, single vertical projector. So this is how it will be looking. Let's draw the actual solution now in two dimensions. Keeping this with us for the reference and this is the given data we have. Starting with the first that is XY line, then a vertical projector. Starting with the front view first, so we have to take 10 mm above. And you have to locate a point A dash. From here, we have to take the true length that is 55 mm in this question, and you have to locate another end of the line that is B dash. And A dash, B dash should be joined, that will be our front view. Taking 20 mm from the XY line, 
obtaining the point and the same point will be having top view of A as well as B. So this is the solution for subcase A of case number 2 when the given line is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.